M0 FXB, welcome back to the channel. Just a quick one here, the SDR 1.0 clone that I've got here. I'm gonna take the sides off and have a little peeky look inside. This is the clone model. The original model was called Deep SDR 1.101, but I don't think you can actually buy that now. That They've made a new Malahit one, but I'm playing around with this one. There's possibilities and whispers that they are going to bring out a new original version of this um, but right now we're playing around with the clone the clone costs about 70 pound and sometimes less and i i think for what it costs i think it's quite good you can tell the difference because the connector where the an antenna is 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 sma not bnc i've got an adapter on there so let's just turn it off and i've taken some screws off already so the knob here just literally just pulls off and then look that is literally finger loose there was a bit of glue holding the knob on. You can always re replace that if you want. And then I'm going to remove these screws. Let me just see if I can get that to come off completely. It looks like it's got one of those washers that sort of hold it on. And the glue's there. It's got, you know, if you're doing this, just be careful. Because uh, the knob is, um, it does all the work, basically. So you don't want to damage that, do we? As you can see. Show you the screws that I've removed. One, two, three, four. Actually, number three is still in there, so I'll take that off now. I'll also take off the BNC. The adapter that I use, and you can get these you know, on Amazon for about three pounds. They're really good, actually. SMA to BNC, because most of us have got BNC, especially if we like our receivers. Go back here, and then we'll just Take that last screw out. Now it looks to me like the way they've done it is the whole lot just slides in. Remember your washer there. Take this last screw out. Like so. Okay. Let's have a good look on the side there. Try and get my torch right in. You can see the battery in there and take the battery does last ages, literally like two days it lasts. There's your encoder, it's a bit wobbly, so but it's on the board solid I would say. Is that a switch there? Just check. It's actually upside down on the back of the board. You get this nice diagram, which I do like. There's your SMA. Let's turn it the right way round. So the actual side is this way round. Like so. So that that I just touched is actually an LED light. And you've got five volts. And I find that that will actually charge your phone. And if you plug the USB cable into it, the device turns on. So it could actually power it and bypass the battery, possibly. On off switch, then USB C. Okay, let's take the other side off. Now, as far as I can see, to get the thing off, you'd have to remove the antenna. So, just slide it all out. If I, if it's easy, I'll do it. But if it's soldering, then I won't. So, audio jack there, and you can control. You can set the audio volume for the headphones and the speaker separately. So there we are. It looks like antenna-wise. It looks like there's just a, a connector there. So that's interesting. I wonder how hard it is to take that off. Let's just see if the thing slides. Yeah, it is sliding. Oh, that's fascinating. I wasn't expecting that. I don't want to pull the antenna off. But anyway, let's just do it. Speaker here. And yeah, the antenna's now pulled. So... I'll just show you what you can see so far, and then we'll uh, may have a closer look at that antenna. It'd be nice to fire this up out of the actual box. So battery connector here. Have a good look, and then we might even compare it to the photograph of the original. So if we push it the other way, 
going easy not to damage the board. Look, you've got a connector here. So I reckon I can pop that off and then the whole thing will slide out. So look how easy it would be to change that to BNC. It actually would be quite easy, I would say, to buy one of them um, and just swap it over. I don't plan to swap it over. So I'm just going to clip that off. Just going to pop it off. Like so now, obviously, be careful if you damage your device, you know, don't blame me. Okay, well that popped off quite easily. And it makes sense to pop it on when you pull it out this side. You should just press it back into place. So let's push it through the other side now and see if it will come all the way. It looks like it does now. Remember <laughs> that the encoder when you're looking at the writing is at the top left. There's your battery. So it's definitely a um, 5,000 milliamp hour and it feels like it is because it literally lasts forever. That top plate here, this top plate looks like it is just holding the battery. Um, so let's, we will take that off because it looks really straightforward. It looks like it's just four screws. There's your screen. And it's a really nice screen, really good quality. I'm not seeing in my, you know, I'm not an expert on components, but I'm not seeing bad workmanship at all. There's your speaker. So let's take off these four screws. Nice quality case, 4.3 inch. You could literally get one of these cases and put a hotspot in it. Um, yeah, it's a nice, really nice case. So the screwdriver I found that fitted is marked as 1.0. So I'll get those four screws out. Try not to lose all the screws, but tend to find them afterwards. <laughs> but yeah, let's get these four out. I mean, that battery, I don't think you're ever going to have a problem with that battery. I really don't. So open it up. And no need for me to even disconnect it really, just to show you. Now let me just compare it to the other board. I do have a photograph here. First of all, I'll just give you a, I'll just leave it like that so you can have a good look. Do some zooming in there. It's all clever stuff. That's your main chip look. There you go. Move that wire out of the way there. Trying to keep it still. No, not, you've seen the other side, it's just the screen. Okay, so now let me just show you that other board. This is the original board. I'm trying to see if I can see the name of that chip. See if they're using the same chip. Three is it, it's really hard to read. Three two four five zero BKF ARM at the bottom. I think it is the same chip, but you tell me, you know, you've got the BKH4SH JJ2331. Mine looks the same. JJ2, is it? 
Mm, could be a different number there. BKF95, is it? Yeah, so I think it is different. The chip numbers are different. Anyway, you decide. I'm not gonna I'm not deciding what is the same and what's different. It's only a photograph of this board. I'll put a link in for all of this into the description. Sorry about the blurriness. And that's it. But overall, as a clone, I'm happy. Let's put it back together. You know, and there'll be those of you that say, well, it's a clone rubbish. I've heard that so many times. Yeah, clone rubbish. But I go by usability. Can I use it? And does it do what I want it to do? And it does. And it does it quite, anyhow, it does it well. Yeah, that's, that's how I do it. So, and then I go, you have to bear in mind the cost. Yeah, what it costs compared to the original. Because it looks like the original is nearly three times the price. So you can't get something that's got a massive, you know, a much, much lower price. Sorry about this. Okay, we've got the battery back on. The next thing is to slide it in and then reconnect the antenna. So slide it on the one, the groove nearer the front. Try and show this. See that nearer the front. See that hopefully. And then just gently slide it in. And then the idea now is to, once we've got it in, push it all the way through. And then we're going to clip that back on there. Hold it up and then clip it into, clip it into place. That's it, that clipped on very easily. No problem at all with that. Uh, so we want to just push it back in. So we can get our side back on. And grab the correct side. You know which way round it goes because of the encoder. Pop that on. Just get one screw in there for now. Pop our washer on and then our nut and our knob. Okay, and then put this in. We've got the glue there just and then it actually wasn't very tight. So I'm guessing that they did that, I think, because if you go too tight, you risk pulling the pulling it off the board. So then there's your knob, doesn't really matter which way around, even though it has got a line there. I didn't see that that really matters. Turn it round, and we'll put the other side on with one screw, and then we'll fire it up, and make sure the thing's still working. There you go. Like so. Put our BNC on. We'll put the rest of the screws on in a minute, but hey, let's just see how much we broke it. Right, that looks fine. And volume, press. And we've got so many LED, LED lights on here. Let's turn them off. If you swear that makes a lot of difference, the LED lights. Let's see if we can find anyone. Someone there? It's not busy, but there's a few locals. One there. Yeah, that's Wales. You can change the colour. I mean, I just think it's a very good device for the price. I've had loads of messages about this device. Can it decode DMR? Can it do this? Can it do Tetra? All these questions, but I, I just think you're living on another planet. This is a £75 device. So, um, 
Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Bye for now.